एक हेलो 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 वेलकम वेलकम माई नेम इज संग्रेश स्लेसवैक एंड टूडे आई विल टॉक टू यू अबाउट स्ट्रेस एंड हाउ नॉट टू इग्नोर द सिग्नल्स um i'm a life redesign coach and i uh, in my, through my coaching i um make sense out of the nonsense that you call business <laughs> that is a stress moment for everybody but that's what i'm going to talk about today well everybody experiences stress last week we talked about how um um you can be very strategic and how you can build up your um yourself by focusing on the right things hi brioni hi hi <laughs> on on to focus on the right things today and in the coming series we will talk about the the pain points or the pillars to underground that and how to make sure that you can um succeed well everybody has stress in several different ways the way we do that is by um uh, either have too big of an expectation or um we um underestimate the task at hand when you underestimate task um that means then that you are maybe optimistic and because of that you are positive as they call it but positivity as we discussed last week is not enough right that's why i always say be positive not crazy right positivity make sure that you are upbeat have the the good mentality to do things but on the grounding that with facts working in a certain way that makes it a valuable part of um working towards a good result well expectations can come from different um um in different ways we have expectations towards ourselves or family or jobs or in your case your business it's valuable to realize that every step every process have a step and the steps are not to be skipped just because of expectations expectations are just the ambition in the future and you have to realize that ambition is not underguarded by facts and that's why you have to work in a certain way with stress stress is just a signal it tells you that either you're not prepared yet not sufficient yet or um maybe you should you miss some certain skills that you really need to to finish this task and these three will keep your um um uh, expectations realistic feet on the ground as we say it not in the air right so um it's it's an authentic signal and that's the reason why we get so uh, worried about it because we know that something is wrong another part is that you can um take stress and make it work for you so like i said either you're not prepared yet or either you miss the skills or either you have to um uh build on on certain things within a bigger time frame because that's what we do we plan things to short because we think we are skilled enough we are big enough we we can do it or sometimes we are pressured by other people who want to make sure that we um um yeah use our skills but skills are not um used on the pressure they are prepared towards pressure that's a different time um 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 way per perspective way of looking at things you know so um you have to keep it realistic with yourself i say keep it real with yourself and that means that you have to go back and figure out 
what it is that causes the tension and be honest about that because being honest towards yourself will will keep you from a heartbreak will keep you from um, um, feeling like a failure because at the first time in in the beginning you did not set a good realistic goal you know so um how do you do deal with that what you can do is um, um make sure that you get a good overview of your of, of your situation what is needed to attack this task task what do i have to do and basically also go back to your um your intrinsic motivation why are you doing stuff if you do stuff to keep up with the joneses or if you do stuff because everybody um, thank you, Safran. If, if everybody is doing it, then that means that you should step out of the race because that is not your focus point. See, we are built to do certain things in a certain way because our DNA points us towards that. You are attracted to certain things, to certain um, um, books, to certain um, uh, careers, to certain even love. Well, whatever it is, it is because you are built in a certain way. And that's a fact. That's a fact. Nobody else is built in your way. So that means that if you want to attack stress, you have to attack it built on your way. So how do you do that? You go back to the situations and then you compare what you want versus what you have and be very honest about it. If you notice that something is not uh, um, um, sufficient yet, that doesn't mean that you have to quit the task. No, we go back and sit down and put the pros and the cons in front of us. And then we have to check on three things. We have to check the resources and the resources could be money, but also people. And you have to check your method. And like I said before, you have to check your intrinsic motivation. Why, why are you doing it? And what will it bring to the table? Will it add to you or is it just something else you have done? Have you ever met a friend or a colleague that, you know, they they have done so many things, but you can see it back into their lives. Don't be one of those. Be very specific. Be very grounded when you attack your results. A third thing is that you have to put a measure towards yourself. And this measure is important because, like I said, it's not the Joneses, their method, method, measure, it's yours. What will be success? How does it look for you? And how can you add to that add value when reaching that success? It's, it's very important to make sure that you set a standard above your measure. So what you are now, versus where you want to go and the gap in between. Be very realistic about the gap and point out what you miss or what you have to go get. If it means that you have to go get uh, extra skills, be realistic about it, right? Um, I know um, um, marketing also says that you have to tell people that they will succeed and you have to add to their pain points as they say it. Yes, that's true. But you have to, if you're honest, if you're an honest marketing, if you're an honest coach, you tell the people that every step, every process have a certain time frame, and it will take time. So be um, realistic about it. Don't ever, ever deviate from that. Take your time and reduce the stress. So... That could be while um, your approach, while um, um, dealing with your task, your norms, your measures, right? 
But how do you deal with the pitfall? Some people have that, the pitfall of saying yes, when they really should say no. And oh, not a option, no. Everybody has to learn these two letters combined. Why? They will add to your stress. And when you want to do something good for somebody, it's not by adding stress to yourself or to your life or to your task. Whatever it is, being very helpful, here we go again, is a good intention. But in effect, when you implement it under stress, you don't get the best result. And that's what we're aiming at. We don't aim at a result. We aim at the best result. The best result is the result thought of in the beginning, implemented according to plan and adding value according as we see it, right? So it's very important to um, um, figure out if you wanna do something for somebody else to make sure that you um, be honest ab about what you can add. So that means that maybe you can take part of the task, just a part, and do that in a certain way, in a good way, and adding to somebody else's success. You don't have to hijack the whole task. Because if you hijack the whole task, as we talked about last week, then you are all of a sudden accountable for other people's success. Well, that's a heavy load to, to, to bury. And I wouldn't advise that. Make sure that when you um, um, have good intentions, they are under, underguarded with success and underguarded with love and underguarded with value. Otherwise, why do it? So ignoring the signals will get you in trouble. And how can you tell when you ignored the signals? Either you use time in a different way. For example, you are supposed to finish a task in the morning and you stay up the whole night to finish it up. That means that you used your tools in a different way and that will backfire in a, in a, on, on another moment. So what the, that does for you is that you are creating kind of a roller coaster towards you for yourself and you are just rolling and rolling and rolling and you get tired. Now, in this society, people say you don't get tired. We get tired. It's important to realize that when you get tired and you don't apply rest tools, apply um, 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 health to your um, focus to get to gain results, you will get into a burnout. What is a burnout? I heard it said that a burnout is um, anger held within. Why? Because you are pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing yourself towards a goal that sometimes, or in most cases, is not yours. And you're angry with yourself. And that anger comes out in not having the energy to do your task, not having the energy to um, um, add value where you should be the star because of your core qualities, not adding value to the lives of the people you love, you know, and that makes you feel useless. So how can you quit doing that? First, you have to put yourself on a diet. And that is, I don't have to be everywhere for everybody. Yep, we don't have to do that. What we have to do is focus on what we can do in a certain way, above measure, above our measure. So if you notice that you are adding tasks 
just because out of habit, put yourself on a diet. You are entitled to, you, you are, um, um, you're supposed to make a, a schedule in the morning or the night before, whenever is your, um, your, good, your good spot, your sweet spot. And plan. See the day, the next day, the future day in the way you want to see it. That means you have tasks. There are certain things you have to do. Maybe bring the kids to school, take the kids to school, um, go to work, finish a task, do um, uh, whatever you have to do. And plan realistically. That means if it takes 30 minutes to get from your house to the kids' school, don't plan 20 minutes. Plan 50 minutes. Yes, that's the way to attack stress. Make sure and take in continents that there will always be something happening. That's life. You don't have to stress about it. You have to accept life in a certain way. So you plan ahead. 50. Then from your kid's school to your work, um, maybe you have another 50. So that means that you cannot schedule getting the kids ready and get to uh, get them to school and get to your work in just one hour. It's not realistic and it will cause stress. And when you either get to work and maybe you're not as fruitful as you could be, you know, isn't that a bad way to live? Now, I'm talking towards professionals, but I'm also talking to um, entrepreneurs. You know that goal you set in groups about the target you're going to meet? Next year, this time, I'm going to be this and that and that. Mind you, I'm not telling you not to do that. But take in, in, in consideration that everything, even the way you progress, takes time. And stress is linked to time. Time, time to learn. Time to make things land. Time to take action. Time to think about the action. Time to figure out if the action you've taken, if you took, is the right way. Everything takes time. So if you want to attack stress, you have to attack stress in a certain way. Have you figured out what we've discussed so far? You have to take the signal of stress serious. Something is not right. Something is not prepared. Something is not not um, uh, perfect yet. Perfect for you, I mean, right? So when you take the signal serious, then you can go back to realizing point two, what do I need to get there? How do I close the gap between what I want versus what I see in the uh, what I have right now? And it's important that you realize that every step, every person you include in your goals, in your task, in your life will have their own um, um, way of doing things. And you have to find a way to include those things. It takes time. It will make sure that everything you do will have to be done in a certain way. Don't lose heart. Just accept the process. Just accept the signal. Things take time. Don't ignore the signal. A burnout is something that um, is, is basically a technical term. And we use it when um, we want to talk, we, we are resetting a computer. And we reset the computer in a hard way. And we have combinations, um, key combinations we use. Um, and we do control, alt, delete. That means we control, we take control, yeah? 
alt is a method to take control. And then we delete. And what do we delete? We delete, we delete everything that has been previously leading up to this burnout. Well, for a computer, it's just a process of maybe five minutes. And if you have a very old computer, maybe longer. But when it comes to resetting people's life, it takes a whole lot longer than just tapping on three keys. You don't have the time for that. You need to take all the signals life is giving you as facts. And because of that, you will prepare towards the facts. Prepare. Stress. Preparation. Synchronize the two. And you will have a calmer more beneficial life. How do you deal with the pressure of saying no? No. No to things that are not uh, aligned to what you have planned. Well, what you basically can do is um, make people aware of the goals you have for the next day or for the coming time and explain to them that basically what they're asking of you is um, um, adding to stress because you basically don't have the time. But you can talk in a certain way if you don't plan in a certain way. If everybody thinks that you're accessible and available every time, every minute of the day, then they will treat you as such. People treat you as they think, um, uh, as, you, as you send out the signal towards them that you want to be treated. So it's important for you to prepare this conversation. Look, I love you. I really want to add value to your life, but at this moment, I can't because I have other results, other goals that are more important to me as an individual, as a professional, as a, 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 a entrepreneur, and my stuff needs to go on plan as scheduled because otherwise I will, um, um, uh, I will have problems in my own life. Well, if you discuss it like that, people won't hold you uh, accountable for things that maybe they can do. But it takes maturity to think about the next step and how you wanna do it. And if stress overcomes you at a certain time, even though you've planned it, what you do is you go back and you take the step, take stock of where you are and realize why you are doing things and how to tackle the wants versus the, 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 um, the current place where you are, right? Practice this. Practice with little things and practice that magic word, no and say it in love. Well, that's what it was for today. I'm happy to see that uh, um, uh, this added a little bit of value. And uh, I hope to see you on in my group. Uh, the information is uh, in, the, in the, um, uh, the message. And um, I would love to help you find your, your footing while reaching your goals. I'm available, you can reach me. And I thank you for your wonderful, the wonderful um, um, support you're giving to me. Uh, uh, I got so many um, response, so good, so, so good support from the last um, live. And I'm planning to be live every week to discuss these things with you. It's not about money, it's about adding value towards your life and that is my sweet spot. I love you. See you next week and take care. Say 